Hello everybody. Thank you for joining me today at this time two o'clock. This is this is my first ever Instagram live, so there probably will be a lot of mistakes. Oh looking a lot of friends join. Thank you, thank you for taking the time. I want to thank you before I forgot to Arce Tobikok and Nashata for inviting me for this, for to be part of this wonderful initiative that is uh, Arts in Isolation and open the door of my home studio. And um, well, forgive me if any mess up with this artifact, but I hope you enjoy this visit. So, um, Oh, I have to say that I'm wearing this because you don't want to be distracted with my hair. You know, three months already without any haircut is, is so terrible. So um, I would like to start to show you a little bit about, um, oh, to those who are not started to be called that don't know me, my name is Mirna Chassin. I'm a ph professional photographer and a visual artist. I had done a career in both in Venezuela and then I this, I, I continued to pursue my art career in in uh, Toronto and in 2017 I moved to South Etobicoke lo, close to or in front of the Lake Shore uh, Boulevard West and Humber Bay Shores and then I get involved with Arts Etobicoke at the, that first year and participating in an exhibition and then in 2019, last year, I did a collective exhibition for the with uh, Eli Eli Carmona to uh, show um, uh, to to be part of the Contact Festival. So I'm very very grateful to uh, Arce Tobico because it was like embracing me the moment I joined the community. And and then I I want to thank you enough for the opportunity to to provide with it this wonderful audience and huge audience that are in such a small space in in the story from gallery to showcase my artwork. So said so, uh, I want to in start with the my favorite corner or or my home, which is my studio. Um, okay, I have to sh switch the camera. And this is our favorite corner where we have the collection or literature, poetry, philosophy between my wife and me. This is, this is my wife, Maria, which has been helping me a lot with this. Uh, Hi, hi, thank you for coming, Annie. thank you. Um, Maria, my sister from Spain, Hockey is from Spain too. Um, uh, this, this is a very useful corner for us, it's the small library we have, and this uh, are the, the few books we could bring with us, and some that have been uh, growing with the, with the, over the years. I don't know how to wave, but imagine everybody that I'm waving to all of you and give you the, my kisses. This is on our, the small um, gift from our oh, souvenir from our trips. Peru, mostly, and our favorite books. And this is this is the corner we take some time to 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 read. This is the part that is in this corner, which is our the favorite, and our small garden. I hope it's showed you, which is uh, in charge. Maria, my wife, is in charge of it because we agree that both of us cannot be taken care of the babies uh, because sometimes we water in twice, so we decide that just one of us do it, doing this. And this is the other, fa my favorite spot, which is close to the library and the TV when I screen, sometimes I screen the photos 
like right now, that I want to put this because it's that we are, want to imagine that we are joining or together in the high part around the uh, cherry blossom that this year will be uh, streaming online because of the quarantine. I hope everybody's safe at home. So let's, this, this is the corner I use to read and repose when I editing. And it's an Ikea share that I love the color and it's, it's, it's a very small corner. And here are one of my secrets that I have to reveal. Other than poetry and philosophy, I love astrology. I love uh, June, Carl June psychology. And mostly I, when I sit here is to make some reading related with some of this book. Then the other are the collection of photography book. This is uh, the sketches of my wife, which is the author of these chairs here. She painted, so there is two artists at home. Maria is the painter and the photographer. So she rescat, uh, recovered this uh, um, stool from the garbage and she repainted all and this 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 wonderful i wanted to show you isn't it beautiful and also i forgot to show you this one it's also she was it was recovered when we moved here uh from the garbage can and uh, it was restored and painting and being part of very important part of our garden. I used to have a whole studio room in Venice, back in Venezuela. I, at the beginning of my career, I used to have uh, I, I used to have a dark room to developing and printing my own copies, but. Over the time when I switched to digital, I start to reduce the, the space, but even before to move to this unit, I had one uh, then to use uh, for using as a studio. I like to work from home. Every, 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 since, since I started with a photography and, and fine art print, I started to use it uh, to work from home. I love to work from home. So um, these, these are my family albums. What, what you see in this shell from Ikea is the most precious treasure, both of my work in, in negative and files and also our collections. I forgot to show you this beautiful uh, handcrafted uh, version of the Virgin of um, Barquisimeto, La Divina Pastora, which I fell in love with in one of the trees in 2014, and, and I, I have to have it from me. I love it. It's, it's, a, it's a very um, popular artisan in, 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 in Venezuela. Also, this is part of the artisanate from the area of my wife in Barquisimeto, in the central part of Venezuela. And, and this is my collection of one of my other secrets, which is I Love Lucy, black and white screening of the show, and my best ever sport for black and white movies, the Indio Fernandez movies, which um, director Gabriel Figueroa is for me the master and most biggest influence over my work. Um, but this this area are the cut the some of the artwork art books that I bring from Venezuela. These are my family albums. Maybe I'm too close. I'm gonna make it that way, so you can you can have a better view. A printing when I need to do 
print certificates, envelope, and but no, I don't. I do not print my work at home. We usually, I send it to print on Gallery Forty Four for finer print in hand hemmed paper. But I did some tests in here, but pretty much for for the fan scenes and certificates and some. Uh, so it's very useful. So I keep it here and I connect it behind. Those are family photos. My wife and her parents and went on a visit. And my three sisters, uh, the one in the middle, my sister Arba passed, uh, died three, two years ago. And I devoted the exhibition on Arce Tobico last year to her. Um, I want to, this is from, I think, as I say, when I, when I started with uh, digital, uh, it was a significant, significant reduction of the space I need to develop my work. So these are all the negative I bring in a slide. So you see, um, you can bring this, but I I have I close the dark room, and I start to work in a computer, in since the very beginning with the light room, which is give me a moment. Uh, raw files. So I'm I I pretty much work with the light room, and and I I want I sh I choose this photo because I have it printed at home. So you can see the difference. This is a raw file from infrared. And before to work with, this is what you had. And then it's the final result. When I need to scan one of my negative here, I usually, I move here uh, my, the three cameras that I'm currently using the mods. This is a full frame D600 that I have already pretty old that I use for commercial work and some of my work in color. Uh, this is uh, Sony, my new acquisition and the one I love the most because it's pretty compact and it's the one I use in for my final work and a street photo. And this one I use it in a pocket when I travel and to do a street uh, videos and some of the videos I need because it's fantastic for the videos. It's a very, um, pre very convenient size with a size lens. So these are the three cameras that I'm currently using. This is not a play for the cameras. I just move it here to uh, you see it. And um, here in this area is where I have cables some printing and the scanner, and icon scanner with this converter that I use for uh, the negative. I think I'm, I'm too close. Um, but this is pretty much my space of work in editing, like uh, developing. Here is a photo of my parents and myself when I was a kid, when I was working in the last, in the last um, war I did in R.C. Tobikov, but about, about uh, migratory grief in that devoted to my sister, I start to scan all the old photographies of the family. This is my heart. My wife. This is another artisany from a friend of mine painting in Maracaibo, uh, and it was this was uh, the anniversary gift for for my sister, dad, and my uncle. This is the replacement of the negative. That's the hard drive. I, as you see, there are just part of them here because every, every file, every raw file has two and three backup. So I currently have double copy of everything. 
this by the way this photo is a, one of my series from the 90s called uh, A Tale of Bife and this is a printing from a negative but this is a digital print so as uh, you see it look pretty much nice and even if I enjoy a lot to printing in my dark room at that times, I don't have any nostalgic um, I don't have any nostalgic sensation about that. I mean, I, I, I don't miss to, to develop because it's, it's, it's a very tough job. It's, it's some kind dangerous. I develop some allergies in my skin and for um, maybe two or three years I couldn't, I couldn't touch any chemical. I have an infection in, in one eye so because of the inhalation. So mm, I enjoy well, because it was a way to see my work, but I don't have any romantic uh, way to come back to, to uh, analogic times. I mean, I, I'm, very, I, I'm pretty much embraced to do everything in digital because it reduces their, their resources. And the other things is allow me to keep everything very um, organized in, in my computer. When I have a whole room for my studio, it was a mess. It was a folder and folder and I couldn't even find the, the, the invoices of the client or what it was the copyright I saw. So it was very complicated. Since I moved to digital in 2003, I have all my office in the computer. I have a, also a laptop, but I, I, I mean, I had to, to save it in uh, some of the, the shelf. But in here, for instance, I used to keep me organized. I have tried everything for the everyday for the project, and I'm going to show you what I use is a uh, Trello. That is my favorite software, which allow me to keep all the project I'm working in and like a studio tour. What are the things I have to do? And then oh, you, you, you have the trail and what, what is done and you, you finish. Or oh, the one I go and work in it, what is, so it can organize it by category. So Trello is been a very good way for me to keep um, tracking the project I'm working in. Mm. Oh, I forgot to show this. It's a very important um, remembering me that I belong. Uh, this, this award from the Mennonite New Life Center in 2017, that same year I, I had the grant for a, a mentorship program. It was a key, a key year for me because it was like the welcome and embrace that I, that I belong to here, to Toronto, to my new, um, and, and to my new home country. And this is a recognition I, they gave me because I offered them volunteer work and I started to do photography, telling the story of newcomer inclusion and working in the, not, not just the photograph of every, every, uh, and during the, during the job fairs, but also when they were needing to promote the lean classes, and the, um, I, I was pointing there because there is some photos that I wanted to show after this. By the way, these are, uh, uh, are color photos of my project I'm working in for fences. And it was taken by the lake shore last year. At this time, it was all full of fences. And okay, this is where I wanted to show you about the Mennonite uh, portrait I have done from, from newcomers. And that, that was the way they gave me this, the, the totally unexpected award. But this is close, very close to my heart. As you see, 
I do not do, don't do just black and white. This is a project of photos that are uh, manually painting. There was done in black and white, and then I changed my mind and I decided that this project is going to be like a like a Hitchcock sixty photos of the the like the the rear window or psycho and I wanted this this look or or vertigo and I wanted this look and this was uh, painted with Photoshop. Okay, I have to do this. I don't know what I'm. Oh, the uh, probably some of the photographers that are following me wanted to know. Uh, what is the other software I use? It, uh, other software I use to develop the photos, other than um, than the Lightroom. Uh, I am started to use Capture One from Sony, the, since I start with the new camera because I I realized that it's gave me best result for for uh, for especially for um, uh, white balance. And it's, it's, it's more powerful, I think. But anyhow, this is how I start to develop the raw material and the workflow. But for uh, tuning the, the, the final result, uh, it's, it's mandatory to use a second software like uh, Adobe Photoshop or, or, or maybe um, and, um, uh, on one software too. It's, it's very nice, very powerful. So this is this is for a final result and is is to prepare the files to print in in, in an archival print. So um, as you see, this is the call the I am not just do black and white. If if is like this one, I wanted to show for the first time a photo color series. It's about. Um, some of the the Venezuelan most dearest tradition, which is the dancing devil of Yare, and I started to work with this in two thousand in two thousand um, seven eight. But until I was here, I didn't do anything. I thought you will like it. So this this has never posted on Instagram. I I don't think so. I have never uh, shown it in a in any exhibition because it was it was like an experiment I was doing, trying to um, understand my relation with my root, and it was too kind of trouble making from from me. And the moment I was to trying to get fit in this in this uh, new um, culture. And this red remind me like a hanger, and and I couldn't manage when I started to editing uh, to overcome that feeling, and I decided to better follow my instinct and continue to work with the photograph that are exhibited by the lake, which is the world where the sun rises. But this is uh, dancing David or Yare in the central part of Venezuela. And this is a uh, inject print um, done by G44, Gallery 44, which is uh, on a member and they have a very good uh, inject paint. Uh, but I never showed it before, but I, I think it was a very good idea to have a drawer uh, with a new material that even it has been uh, not that new, I never show it before. So the, this is the final dances in front of the Cathedral of uh, Iare of the, oh, I'm sorry, I forget that I shouldn't do that. Okay, let me see, it. that way is better. Okay, so this is, so this is like a frenzy dance. This is, this festivity is, is go back to the 18th century from the slaves, the slave for the Spanish conquerors, and it was declared cultural UNESCO cultural patrimony of the 
humanity in 2012. I was already here, so that's when I started to edit this. My final, oh, I'm sorry, my final, uh, I'm gonna clean myself. I didn't wear the glove. These are probably always uh, using this, but huh. well, forgetting about it. Oh, uh, this is another one. It's a mask detail, detail of the one of the mask. You see the eye? It's, they are like a dragon, but they are called devils. These are from digital negative, but I did some of these uh, pictorial finish with these uh, layers, right? And this is another one of my favorite. So the, those are the men behind that are not wearing the mask, but the idea is that during this uh, this is this is happened every year on Corpus, on Corpus Christi, which is the 23, 24 of June. Uh, sometimes they vary, but this are uh, is the San Juan and Corpus Christi festivity. It's just for men. And this is one of my treasures from the 90s. It's a Toulouse Lutre poster. Did I walk all Paris looking for that? in uh, 1992 that was the first ever uh of was the first time rest, uh, retrospective of toulouse lutre but it's one of my uh i've been a big fan of the toulouse lutre and el greco and when i knew for a friend about this exhibition i traveled to see it and then i was looking this poster everywhere and it was not in sale and and Two years later, I went to do an exhibition in the Alian Frances of Caracas, and they have it there. And I pray and pray and, and, and beg for this, and they gave it to me. So it has been from me since 1984, and until I was moved to this unit, I couldn't frame it. And it's, it's my joy to see it, and that's it's, it's one of my treasures. And this is uh, the door of my room, and these are my wife and I and some of our trip and photos of the over you. This is myself at seventeen, and and in Ovidos, in uh, Toledo, we have family living now in Spain. So we are when we are not going to Spain, we are going. To uh, do, we're not going to Venezuela. We are going to Spain. And I think we're done. This is a chacal postray of an exhibition of the Museum de Art Contemporáneo in Caracas, which also bring it to frame here. There are some paintings that we couldn't make it to bring here because it was for a while we were living renting, so we. We didn't expect it to. We had to spare it to to wait until we have a um, our apartment to start to frame the artwork we bring. And finally, this is another um, wood work from uh, about. Uh, it's, it's, it's saints and virgin are and angels are pretty much. The, the the thematic of this um, artisan and and uh, uh, is they are very beautiful very beautiful and I, I, I couldn't resist these two virgins the one I showed you first and these are like in my collection of Christian art in a wood um, wood uh, artwork so 
I think we can start with the question, if any. Huh? Okay. Ha. So I'm here, I'm here again. Um, but I don't know, as you see, it's a very small space. It's, um, it's my home and it's my workplace. I, I love to cook. I love uh, to make a break to prepare uh, my meals. And if one of my wife is here, she usually work in downtown. And I, I like to make the, the chef at home, but we switch that eventually. But um, pretty much I, it's, it's a time I used to like uh, think about what I'm doing. It's a it's a time that I they make a break and and use it in a creative way. But I, while I do cooking, I also start to thinking about the statement, thinking about the way to present a job. It's it's, it's a it's a full time, even even if if I'm not in front of the mini the the, the computer or the dark room or this way the light room, is it's just like a, the editing part. This is like a, the artisanal part of this, because the other, the concept and everything, is, it happened in that corner, close to the literature, close, close to poetry, close to um, the, 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 the point of feeling that they, they help you to feed your heart. To me, actually, and I forget to say it, for me, photography is like having a third eye it's like a open a window between my unconscious and, and the reality and make a sense of what I see around me and the way this is tells story about myself and about uh, issues that I'm dealing with like uh, in this since I moved here of course is is uh, cultural grief is um, language barrier is is especially this journey and, and, and nostalgia. Uh, so uh, mostly what I do is, is to help me to deal with these issues, like uh, this one now, but before it was dead and before that was breaking a uh, feeling lost for a love or, or, or changing career. Uh, I'm supposed to be an architect by now, I was a student architect for four years, and then I decided that I wanted to do this for a living, and that was my media. I did painting, I did uh, some sculpture in my youth, but when I found this, I found my media. That was that. So I'm experimenting more with uh, the way to to present it through video mapping and that, but I keep photography at my base uh, media. So I wanna open the question, but I don't know how. Mm. Any question? Should I, should I see it here? Hey, hey. Mm, I can while with somebody. Yeah, while um, making the question, I forgot to show you. Wow, these are the black and white prints on um, archival king. They are ready to to chip. Well. Uh, in this size, which is a 19 by 12. And these are our car that I uh, used to sell in, in behalf of the um, Venezuelan refugees. Some of them, you had seen it before at the, at the my exhibition. I usually uh, show this car and, and we have a um, QR uh, website when they you can you can uh... oh I have we have a question okay give me a moment uh, Claudia hi and also uh, this is these are those are the the uh, certificate of authenticity that if photo have like this one for instance 
So they have this uh, Henry Mule um, hologram that is going to be in the part, back part of the photo and a copy of this. This is ready to, to ship. And at least, and not last, uh, or last but not least, this is my fanzine edited last, last year on uh, September. And in March this year, I did the Spanish version of that in these three, uh, two sizes. Um, this is a 20, 20 pages photo scene about my series related with my way to find the way to embrace the lake and my new, my, like, uh, it's, it's a series about the nostalgia. You can read it in my website, but this is a fun scene that I'm shipping worldwide. If you are interested, DM to me. There are two sizes, this and this one. The, f the uh, design is by Eduardo Chumaceiro, a Chuma that must be already there. She is the partner in crime for this project. And he was very, very helpful and very uh, creative guy when I had been working for her for years. And when I talked to him, he, he was willing to help. Okay. Um, the transition for black and white. Okay. Leslie, hi. So happy to see you. I'm going to come back to this corner. My words is exhibited right now. There is an exhibition, a public exhibition in downtown Toronto next to Sugar Beach of the series that is in there are in the scene. Um, the other, um, the, the, this is the bigger one that's going to be, uh, that is ongoing now. It will be probably one or two years more. There are arts through the hoarding construction and are part of the patch project by the STEP initiative. And they are like a 90 panels of the photograph in uh, four by eight. And it's a very, uh, very uh, spectacular. I can show you some photo probably, or can you, you can see it in my website, mirnachestin.com. Um, the transition for color to black and white Mm, I, I actually didn't didn't do a transition as because I've been always working with color as a professional as a commercial photographer. What I what I did always was keep it like a two world. The world is color is to the real world, and the black and white color, as Bean Vendor say, is for the real thing for because they say in a movie um life is in color but black and white is more realistic and i keep it separated like it okay i see the world uh, on my third thigh for art for creativity in black and white and and it's i and the way i see it it's black and white and but that's why when i was thinking about this series about the fences and the isolating, the auto isolating of the people, because in this time we are saying we were forced to be isolated. But when I was doing that series, I was noticed that people seems to be love to be alone and connected with the earphones and with the books and, and no no mingle with others. It was in a park and it's it seemed that they didn't bother about the the fences covering the view to the lake. So uh, that's when I thought I need this in color and I need to give it a traumatic tip with, with the color in the photo, like in the time of the change of color in, in Cinemascope. So it's, it's, the, it's the word that asks for that. It's like the yare. I, I wonder to do anything about the festivity in black and white. That's why now I include in the photo says in my website, which is still a, an ongoing project, but you can see online, be, because it's, it's my, my other part, which is in color, and it has to be with the tradition and festivities that I love to go in, and, and this is for me like a traveling time. 
Uh, sorry, I cannot see more. Oh, thank you, Shalama. Any other question? Hey, Nadia. Hey, Buka. Wow, wow. This is my need from Yeda. Any other question? Oh, okay. I guess there is a uh, do. Donde eres? Caracas? From? No, 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 no. Yo soy ben, eh, uh, uh, Hi. Thank you for joining. I'm from Maracaibo, Venezuela. Maracaibo is in close to the border to Colombia, and is a uh, um, it's a city which is a very with a very hot weather. It's the media is 34, 35 during the day, and it have a very peculiar way to talk, like in the ancient times in, in Spain, like it uh, was como te llamáis that way. So I'll see. Sí, eh, vivo para para ella en español. Um, soy de Maracaibo. And, and the word that is uh, that I was showing before by the lake is inspired of the lake of Maracaibo. And my memory is of the child. Let me see if I miss another question. Yeah, the texture of the the texture of the hand hemur paper for the black and white print is fantastic. I, 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 I cannot, and even for the color, it's, it's, I have tried several paper and 300 grams varita is my favorite. 11 ink print. Thank you, I love you, love the color, Shachama. Okay, let me see. Please forgive me for this. This is the first time I do this. I, I, I'm, I'm very nervous. If, please, if I miss some of the questions, just pin it again, please. A lot of, oh, thank you. So I think we have pretty much covered everything. I don't know. What if I can tell about me? You just ask me. For me, it has been a, a little bit stressful, um, but I, I really, really enjoyed and I wanted to thank you again. Yeah, uh, you're welcome, you're welcome. I'm, I, I, I'm very grateful to you all for this visit. So you know where I'm close to Humber Bay Shores, um, and that you just don't need that much space, just maybe organize better. Mm, don't they, uh, you can order your word, send it direct message to me, and I, I ship it worldwide, and I and we get in touch and show you what are you interested in, and that's it. Also, my email, I think it's in my in my Instagram account. You can contact through my website too. All the words are available for sale, even the fanzine, all the world. It's, it's a limited edition of photos and 10 copies. Number it, sign it, and with certificate. And the fanzine is uh, just uh, a limited edition of 100. And it's also, uh, they are so numbered and, and, and sign it. Worldwide shipping. It's depending on the, the place, probably would be included. Uh, sometimes it's included, sometimes I have to, to give you a, a quote for that. I'm looking for it. Is anybody interested to represent me? Well, that's welcome too. Thank you, you for coming here and for uh, for joining at at my place. Um, I think I'm gonna have a seat now and give some comfort here. 
Mm, I think I can read better here. Mm -hmm. Well, I think uh, that's everything has covered so far. Is you don't have anything to bye bye, Johnny. Bye. Thank you for having me again. Thank you, Art Setubi Cookie, once more for uh, the, uh, being part of my creative work and, and giving me the opportunity to show my space this time. But it has been, but has been a pleasure to work with uh, the team and be part of that community in Etobicoke. Have a great uh, evening. Stay home. Keep create creativity up. And we have to think about we are a lucky one because we have a inner war to display a true creativity and it has been a lot of casualty that to be sad for. Bye, 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 bye everybody. So,